Have you been on a date with a crush, looked across the table and wondered, is my crush actually into me? It seems like they are on their phone under the table. And it can be hard to pick up on those signs that someone isn't interested in dating you. And on a date, so many things could be going through your mind that it can be so very overwhelming. Plus, you are finally on a date with your crush, so you want it to go oh so well, but unfortunately, sometimes that person is just not meant for you. And if that's the case, then you deserve better, and of course, they deserve to be with someone that they do click with. And in this video, we are going to dive straight into 10 red flags that your crush just isn't that into you. So keep an eye out for these red flags on your next date, and you will be able to use what you learned in this video on every single future date that you go on. Stay tuned. Poor communication is the first sign that your crush doesn't actually like you. Communication is key in any friendship or relationship. And if you really care about someone, you will make an effort to get in touch and reply to their messages. And if you have found that your crush is all over the place when it comes to communication, mm, it might be a red flag that they are just not that into you. There is nothing worse than sending a message to your crush only to receive a reply the very next day. You sit near your phone and every time a notification comes through, your heart drops a little, but it's not actually then. So you're gonna feel used and very hurt. On a date, however, they don't really talk to you and there are large periods of silence. When you try to phone them, you will notice they don't actually answer or they may have even ghosted you. And ghosting is when a crush just disappears completely out of the world without a word. And these are all signs that sadly, they are just not that into you. So you are better to move on in this situation. They are most likely only going to cause you a ton of heartbreak down the line. So walk away and keep your head held high. They seem distracted. You have managed to pin your crush down, but they seem very distracted. They are busy looking out of the window or fiddling with the salt and pepper shakers on the table. Pretty much everything and anything so that they are not looking directly into your beautiful eyes. They could also be constantly distracted by work, other friends and also family. And if your crush does seem very distracted, well it's obvious they are not making you a priority at all. They don't laugh at your jokes. You don't have to be a comedian to be funny. Everyone has their own quirky sense of humour and your crush is going to laugh at your jokes. Well, that's if they're into you, of course. And if you find that you're giving away some of your best material into a conversation and not getting any laughs from your crush, you might be asking yourself, ah, are they actually into me? And the truth is, if they don't take the time to laugh at your jokes, it's a major red flag. Life coach Stacy Caprio says that when someone is into you, they will be smiling just being around you. And if you try to be funny, they will appreciate it and it will be so easy for them to just laugh naturally. And if they don't really care about you, they won't bother to smile or laugh. Putting barriers in place. When you like someone, you lower those barriers. You become more flexible with your time or with the things that you want to do on a daily basis. And this is a sure sign that something is going oh so well. But when someone isn't into you, they will put those barriers and those boundaries back in place. Dr. Jack Schaefer from Psychology Today said that people who like each other remove obstacles between them. Now this is often a subconscious thing that a crush does when they don't like the other person. This could be something like putting a handbag, newspaper, magazine or a cushion physically in between them. It could also mean not being as open and honest with the other person as they could be. So next time you're on a date, take a look at the other person's body language. Are they putting physical or emotional barriers in between you both? Let's talk about the future. Because a crush that isn't into you will avoid talking about the future at all costs. They will even avoid the very close immediate future too. This could be talking about distant future plans, but also those immediate plans such as, so what should we do after the date? They will avoid making any plans with you full stop. Instead, they will say things like, yeah, maybe we could do that at some point, or I need to look at my calendar. These are tactical ways of actually avoiding the question that you were trying to ask. 
According to Cecilia Schweyer, a dating and relationship family expert, she said that it's either they sound hesitant or dodge the topic completely when making critical plans for the future. And this red flag is also applicable to smaller plans that you could be making. They will seem unexcited with the idea of having trips with your family or even going on vacation together. This is them not investing themselves into you and it is a major red flag. It's just not obvious. If you even have to think, is my crush into me? Well, chances are they probably are not. Sometimes it's not that obvious that they like you. They are not showing those normal, typical signs, the smiling, the laughing, the touching of the arms, or just helplessly staring into your eyes. The University of Dayton did a study on this in 2018 and proved that if someone likes you, they are definitely going to be showing you. Instead, your crush is avoiding eye contact and on a date looks pretty bored. They have not introduced you to their friends and you have been seeing them for a couple of months now. These, and you guessed it, are all bad signs. Sometimes we read way too much into things and at the end of the day, it's simple, it's just not meant to be. They keep their life private. Whether it's a first date or even a fifth date, life is often a topic of conversation. You might discuss where you live, what your job is, you might talk about your interests and your hobbies. And when your crush is just not into you that much, they won't really talk about their own private life. They might ask you about yours, but they will keep themselves hidden. They keep themselves to themselves. And if you ask them, they will change the subject pretty quickly. Now this is because talking about things that happen in your life, well, it's a personal thing. And if you like the person, you are willing to share these personal details with them. And if you don't, you hide them from them. You are the only one to make plans. A sign someone you are dating just isn't that into you is when they don't make plans with you. In the beginning, you might just think that they are a little bit shy, but this is most likely definitely not the case. It doesn't really matter to them if, well, if they see you or not, so they aren't going to put in any effort at all to want to see you. And if you do start to notice that you seem to be the one that's always making the plans, ah, it's a sign that it's your time to move on, buddy. Because you deserve someone who is really going to commit to you because you are amazing. The booty call. You are just drifting off to sleep and suddenly a message pops up on your phone and it reads, you up? And it's your crush. And you get that nice rush of adrenaline and you're like, yeah, sure I'm up, let's do something. Even though you were just about to visit your dreamland and dream about cream cakes or whatever it is you dream about. If you've noticed, this happens every Saturday night. They turn up after being out with their friends and then leave the very first thing in the morning. It's the biggest red flag of all. They interrupt you and they don't listen. If you are talking and your crush interrupts you often, well, this is just rude. After they speak, if it looks like they are not listening and they have switched off, it means they really are only interested in someone hearing their voice, not actually talking. So not only is this someone that you don't want to be with, but it also shows that they don't really care about how you feel. And if this happens to you, politely say that you have to leave and you find the nearest exit. Honestly, you deserve someone who gives you their full attention and someone that is interested in who you are. So go out into the world and find your person. If you think I missed something from today's video, let me know down in the comments. Give me a huge thumbs up and consider subscribing to make my day. But if you wanna get your name rolling up next to my face, like these amazing people's names here, then all you have to do is click the link in the description bar below to find out a little bit more. Have an amazing day, see you soon.